Hi, welcome to House of Vanity. I'm John McGuire, celebrity hairstylist, and I've got the beautiful Courtney Smith here, and we're gonna be showing you how to fit one of these beautiful Lullabelle's lace front wigs. Stay tuned to find out how. Okay, so we're gonna start by prepping Courtney's hair. We're gonna take the parting straight down the middle to section the hair into two parts. We're gonna clip one part out of the way because we don't need that at the moment. Then with one side, we're gonna start plaiting this side so it, the hair sits nice and flat so when the wig sits on top, there's no bulkiness or anything like that. So I'm just going to start plaiting. Just keep going all the way until you get to the nape of her neck. And then once you're done, just take one clear elastic band and then just tie off at the end. You can get these from anywhere. Don't worry about being neat as well, so because it, it doesn't have to be neat because it's all going to be hidden underneath the wig. That is one, and then you're just going to repeat to the other side. Just finish off looking like Cindy Loho off the Grinch. <laughs> Then once again, tie off just to finish off. If you can't do plaits, if you struggle to do plaits, or if you haven't got anyone to help you do plaits, the best way to do it is just to scrape it as much back as you possibly can into two ponytails. And then what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna basically, using our Clitch Pro grips, we're just gonna be pinning up, just making the hair as flat as possible just so there's no lumps and bumps, so just pin it up at the back. Doesn't matter if they show, because this is all gonna be hidden, don't forget. And that is done, that is sorted. Don't worry about bits that fall out or anything like that, these are all gonna be hidden. And you've got your finished product ready for the wig to go on. Okay, so we're gonna take the wig. Um, this is a Lullabelle's wig. This is a 22 inch Sierra wig. This is a synthetic wig. Um, heat can be used on it, but it does come pre-bouncy like this. Comes with a nice style, so it's all pre-done, ready for you to go. So what we're gonna do now, there are grips inside, inside of the wig. This is just gonna help hold. With the bottom grip, we're gonna go in first. So you wanna go in at the bottom of your plait. And then we're going to pull over with the lace at the front. The middle parting we want to try and line up with her parting as well. And then make sure all the grips are slid in nice and easy. Pull the lace down so it's over the face. Now this bit of lace we're actually going to cut off so you're not going to see that. Um, some of you may want to cut it off before you put it on um, or get someone to help you cut it once it's on because you want to try and get a neat hairline as possible. So you can kind of see the look, that is it, literally sitting on perfect. Now we're just going to cut the lace. So just clipping out the, out the front way because you just want to get out of the hair so you don't want to end up cutting the hair. Okay, so once it's on, be really careful if you're doing this on. The best 
option is to get someone to actually help you. You just want to gonna cut as close as possible to the hairline as possible. Be careful not to take anyone's eyebrows or actual hair off. Stain. You'll fade. I know, my concentration will fade. And just brush out, and we are done. How's it feel? It feels weird having long hair again. I've not had long hair for a long time.